Hey everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you're not new here and especially welcome back if you've been on this 30 day yoga journey with me. Today is day 28 and this journey, this 30 day yoga journey in its entirety is called Inward. And day 28 is all about solitude is bliss. So this is a restorative practice. There's no standing postures. You may want a bolster or a block close by as a prop will be low to the ground. And we'll just offer up enough space to just really be with our own energy in silence. And we'll see the value from this practice, the value of being in solitude for self-reflection and for growth so that we can really start to hear our own truth inside, how we actually feel and be able to fill up our own cup so that we can move into this world and, and navigate this world from a place of a full cup rather than from de depletion. So we give and, and live from our overflow. So enjoy this solitude practice, this restorative practice. Get into something really, really comfortable, be warm, and let's get this practice started. Let's begin on our backs. So go ahead and lay yourself down and make yourself comfortable. If you'd like to bring a bolster or pillows underneath the backs of your knees, you can do that here. We'll just start with some centering and a little bit of grounding with some intentional conscious breathing. But first, let's just arrive on our backs. Get nice and comfortable. Make any shifts and changes to get comfortable so you feel fully supported. Then once you find your intentional starting posture and shape, just close down your eyes. And we'll take one cleansing breath to clear the space. Exhale through your nose. And invite in a deep inhalation through your nose with your belly and chest fill up. A nice big exhale out through the mouth, release, let it go. <sighs> Closing your mouth. And allow your breath to adjust. Let your breath be effortless here as your body settles on your mat in your space, arriving to your practice today. Exploring solitude. Let your belly be soft, relax your jaw. And as we ground and anchor in here, we're going to practice complete breath, also known as three-part breath. So we'll just start by setting the intention to make the breath smooth and even. So as you breathe in, you'll feel your be belly expand. The breath is smooth and uninterrupted. And as you breathe out, you'll feel your belly soften. And see here if you can match the length of your inhalations to the length of your exhalations. Allow the breath to be deep and yet silent and seamless and continuous. Now the next time that you inhale, feel your belly expand. And then as you continue the inhalation, start to feel your ribs expand and the breath travels all the way up into your chest, into your collarbones, slightly into your shoulders. And then as you exhale, the navel pulls back in, everything softens. So this is your complete breath, three-part breath. It's like a wave. As you breathe in, the belly inflates, it stays inflated. The breath travels up the ribs and expands into the chest, into the collarbones. And as you exhale, the belly softens and everything softens. So continue like this, find your rhythm. As you breathe in, the belly expands, the breath rises and travels up 
through the ribs, into the chest, the collars, bones, feeling that inspiration and vitality. And as you exhale, the belly softens, feeling that release and that emptiness. And finding that seamless flow of your exhalations right into your inhalations and inhalations right into your exhalations, that continuous breath. How smooth can you make your complete breath here? Again, matching the length of your inhalations to your exhalations. A few more rounds of breath like this, consciously shaping your breath. Feeling the full expansion of your inhalation, letting it up, fill up the space in your being, inviting in that nurturance and vitality, and then feeling the full exhalation, emptying out your vessel, feeling that letting go. Finishing off your last round of three-part breath, this conscious shaping of your breath. And when you've completed your final exhalation, just let the breath go, let the technique go, and allow your breath to adjust. Notice how bringing your awareness and consciously shaping your breath can start to shift your perception or shift how you're experiencing your mind, shift how you're experiencing yourself, anchoring you into the present. From here, just bring your knees in towards your chest, moving your prop aside if you have one there. Make some space on your mat and interlace your fingers around your shins, around your knees. Just give yourself a gentle hug here. And we'll come into a simple twist. So the right leg will stay in, the left leg will extend out long. Take your left hand to the outside of the right thigh and roll over onto your left side. Right arm's gonna extend and open up, right palm is facing up. Find a comfortable position for your head, for your neck. Close down your eyes. Just feel this openness across your chest and your spine, perhaps your hip. And allow yourself to drop into your abdominal breathing, nice and smooth. Beautiful, come back to center, place both feet down onto the mat, give your hips a lift up, and then lower back down so the hips are even, sometimes one hip likes to hike up there. Extend your right leg long onto your mat, pull your left thigh in, right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh, roll over onto your right side for a twist. Left arm is gonna open up, palm up, externally rotate the shoulder, 
Find a comfortable position for your head, for your neck. Just find your point of resistance and then drop in from there. Abdominal breathing. Use your exhale to release any tension. Go inward here. Allow your breaths to nourish you. Beautiful. Come back to center, place both feet down onto the mat, give your hips a little lift and lower back down, readjust. And then bring your knees back in towards you again, wrap your arms around your shins, breathe into your belly. And we will come to meet on all fours, tabletop. So you can meet me there and table any way you'd like to get there. From table, we're actually gonna come on to our bellies into half frog. So make some space if you have props around you, just move them around. We're gonna come on to our stomachs. And then we'll start with the left leg out to the side. Just allow the inner arch of your left foot to be supported by the ground. Just let your right leg soften. You can either bring your arms in cactus or you can stack your palms and rest your forehead on the back of your hands. So you can try and adjust, see where your upper body is gonna feel the most supported. Making any adjustments. Close down your eyes. We'll hold the shape for a couple of minutes to really give ourselves the opportunity to drop in. So just take a scan throughout your body, through your being, and see where there might be some clenching or gripping. Relax your legs, your thighs, your groin. Let your belly be soft. Let your shoulders relax. Let your fingers relax. Jaw soft. Close your eyes. And the breath is just natural and effortless. Whenever we're laying on our bellies against the ground. This is super grounding and soothing for the nervous system, very calming, which will allow us to really enjoy and drop into this space of solitude. Quieting down the noise, any external noise and busyness and distractions so that we could turn inward and really start to hear our own voice from within. Hear our own truths, our own perspectives. Giving a chance for ourselves to truly listen to how we actually feel. And this is a powerful way to recharge ourselves, to be in solitude, to be in our own energy. And we'll start to deepen the breath again here. 
just preparing to come out of this shape. And then we're going to do a simple switch to the other side. So just bring your left leg in. You're going to extend your right leg out to the right, bend your right knee. You decide how high you want the knee to be. And then adjust your upper body, your hands. If you were looking one way on the first side, just turn the neck the opposite way so that the neck is balanced. And I won't be sharing much on this side due to the mic. So find your position, drop into your breath, release any gripping or tension, close down your eyes, and go inward once again. Start to deepen your breath, preparing to come out of the shape. When you're ready, just bring your right leg back to center. And you just bring your hands by your upper chest. We're going to push up and back into a child's pose. So just push yourself up. You can bring your toes touched, knees out wide. And you're welcome to come into a supportive child's pose with your bolster or no prop. Be here for about a minute or so. So you can have your head down. You can always place another block on top of here. Or you can place one ear down onto the bolster and about halfway through, I'll cue you to change sides with your head. If you have your head to one side, just change the direction of your head and your gaze. Balance out the neck. Beautiful. Start to make your way upright. We're going to come on to our backs. So if you have your prop there, just move it to the side and come to a seat. And then have a block or a bolster close by. We're going to come on to our backs and then come into a restorative waterfall. So take your bolster or your block and place it underneath your sacrum, so the tailbone. So not the bum, not the back, but right in between, there's that bony part. It loves to be supported. 
Your feet are on the ground. This might be beautiful and perfect for you today, supported bridge. It's so nourishing and restorative for the lower back. However, if you would like to bring your legs up towards the sky, or you can always drape your legs over the couch or the chair or legs up the wall, you can do that as well here. Hands could be on the belly or arms down by your side. You can bring your arms up overhead into cactus. Check in. What would be the most supportive for you in this moment, in today's practice? You can close down your eyes. Let your belly be soft. Soften the muscles and the energy behind your eyes. Your jaw is soft. Relax your tongue. And this is so calming for the nervous system as we're inviting in this downward flow of energy. Apanavayu, facilitating release and grounding and calming. All perfect ingredients to enjoy the solitude, to allow it to be blissful, recharging up our own energy, our own life force, filling up our own cup. So that when we are full and charged up, we can go out into the world and live and exist and give from our overflow. And this in turn is very nourishing. Rather than giving from a place of depletion or should, we can give from our overflow, but we must charge ourselves up first. Just anchor into the present, anchor into your breath. Beautiful. If your legs are up in the sky, up in the air, or draped over something, just bring your feet back down to the ground. Pause here for a moment. Feel this in-between space. And then engage your glutes, lift your hips up, slide your prop out from under you. And you might even just slide it down if you have a bolster. And we'll come into a nice Shavasana so you can support yourself in Shavasana or whatever final resting shape you'd like to take here. And we'll be in this shape for a little longer to really allow ourselves to rest and restore. So if you have something under your knees, and just make sure that the knees are supported and your feet are down towards the ground. Your feet touch the ground, but the backs of the knees are supported. Make any last adjustments, get nice and comfortable. Close down your eyes. Just allow your whole body to rest here. And in this space of solitude, there is nowhere else for you to be right now. There's nothing asked of you. There's nothing to get done. What's real and alive right now is the here and now. Allow your breath to be effortless. Allow yourself to relax and release so much 
that you can't tell where your body meets the ground or the mat and the mat meets your body. Deeply nourishing yourself on all levels.
Notice what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multidimensional being. And know that this place of deep ease and contentment and bliss is always, always available to you. It's always there. It is your birthright. You can slowly and gently begin your return by deepening your breath. Allowing your breath to gently stretch you from the inside out. And then start to bring some movement back into your body. Maybe move your fingers, your wrists, your ankles. Move in whatever way that feels intuitive and right for you. Maybe you bring your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch, stirring your body back into wakefulness. Bring your knees in toward you, give yourself a hug. A hug filled with self-love and self-care. And then you can roll over to one side and just pause on your side for a moment. Inviting in a couple of deep breaths into your upper back, pausing in this transitional space knowing how or tapping into how this fetal shape feels to you. And then in your own way, let's come to close our practice together in a comfortable seated position. Finding a tall spine, shoulders down and back, chin slightly in to keep the back of the neck lengthened, feeling the connection of our sit bones either on our prop or on the mat, growing tall through the crown of the head. Enjoy these last few moments here with self, with your breath. May we weave in this practice of being in solitude, even for a few moments each day, just being in our own energy, in our own feelings, in our own thoughts, to give ourselves the opportunity and the chance to really feel into how we actually feel and what we actually think, to really charge ourselves up, fill up our own cups, so that when we give, it is from a place of overflow. Let's bring our palms to touch in front of our heart space, side bone of the chin, just acknowledge the light that exists within you. May we take this sense of bliss and peace and contentment with us off of our mat and into the rest of our day sharing it with all those we come across with, we interact with, or even think about. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for your trust from my heart to yours. Namaste.